Hey, I'm Lynn Lindberg, the Health Fitness Motivation Podcast host. Yours truly. Okay, if this is your first episode, you need to go back and listen to a few of these. Head on over to the list of episodes from this podcast. Find the ones that say get organized, and then uh, you'll know what the heck I'm talking about. Okay. So yesterday, yesterday we did the episode called Look and Prioritize. So we looked at the list that we made and we prioritized one, but we didn't actually do it. Here's why. Here's why we didn't do it immediately. Because you've got that list. And if you did that one thing immediately off the list that you picked, then it's really easy to just say, oh, okay, I did it. And now I'm done. And I'm going to kind of forget about the rest of the list on accident, right? But by looking at the list and saying, okay, this is the one thing that I'm going to do. And then not doing it for a whole night, like sleep on it. For most of us, our brain will subconsciously keep that story loop open and say, oh my gosh, that person I said, I was going to do this one thing and I didn't do this one thing and it's subconsciously on the back of my mind. And now today, day two, you might actually feel a little more motivated to do it or throughout the last 24 hours, your brain might have processed a better, more efficient way to do it or you might be dreading it more, but that's okay. We're here for you. (laughs) Okay, so today what you're going to do is take a look at your list again review your list, and you're going to do that one thing that you picked. And you can reserve the right to pick a different one, but do the one thing that you picked. And then keep that list somewhere where you will remember it somewhere like, I don't know, post it somewhere where you'll see it or have it in a reminder and the reminder pops up. Here is the list. Look at the list. Keep doing it. Keep doing it and slowly, slowly work your way through the list. And here's what's going to happen. Most of us will find a tipping point where we'll realize we never, ever actually finish the list, but we're feeling good about our homes and what we've done in our home. And we're going to realize we don't have to have everything perfect in our homes to feel good about it and to feel like we've got it set up for our own success. And only you will know when that time comes, when you look around and you say, yeah, okay, I feel pretty good in every room. My kitchen's set up for success, for health and food. I've got my exercise space set up and that feels pretty good and I like it. And and you'll settle in and say like, wow, I've kind of got this figured out. Yeah. Then something in life is going to happen and it's all going to change or you're going to move to a new location and you're going to have to start this process all over again. But just know <laughs> that's normal, totally normal totally normal. We are humans. We have dynamic lives. We have lots of things going on. And that's why we have to do these things over and over again. So there you go, friends. Do your one thing from your list. Take a look at it. Do that one thing. Get that list somewhere and you'll get rocking and rolling. And this is a long process. I know, I know, I know, but you totally got it. That's what we got going on for today. We are tomorrow going to move on to looking at our medication as just one more little mini episode. Um, We'll talk about that later tomorrow. Alrighty, friends. If you're new to Couch to Active, the mothership of this whole podcast here, head on over to couchtoactive.com and the get started. It's right there on the homepage, um, what to do to get going. And I would love to meet you. Alrighty, friends. Head on over there, couchtoactive.com. Bye-bye now.